you guys. It is super early. This is actually my old roommate, one of my old roommates, Michaela. Hello. She's a makeup guru. So she's gonna help make me look pretty today. And then we have a very, very, very long weekend at the Arnold's. It's gonna be super fun. Um, but yeah, I got a spray tan last night, so not super pale anymore. It's gonna be great. So first we're priming her skin, because always. I'm using some matte and poreless because Kelly's going to be potentially doing a little bit of sweating, you know, you never know. <laughs> you never know. We don't want her getting greasy up in here. Funny story about a beauty blender. Um, my sister looks like every time she does her makeup, I love you Marissa, shout out. Um, not to call you out, <laughs> but every time she does her makeup, she looks like a five-year-old got a hold of some paint and try to put it on her face and, like cakes it on yeah so i'm like oh, let me watch you do your makeup like wh what yeah, what where, where are, are you going what wrong? on earth are you doing like I, I just don't understand how how it can look this bad and lo and behold this chick wasn't even wetting her beauty blender oh have you ever tried to put on makeup with a dry beauty blender i feel like you'd use your whole bottle of foundation trying to get oh my gosh on your face yeah talk about eating your product but there's, so, bottle of foundation but there's so many that. people that don't know that, you yeah. know? So, and honestly, when I started using beauty blenders, like, I didn't, I would wet it, but I wouldn't use it, wet it thoroughly oh, enough. Yeah. And it's all the difference, because you can always add. Yeah. If you, if you don't wet it down enough, then, yeah, number one, it eats it. Number two, you're going to be wetter, wetter in some spots and then drier in uh, others. Yeah. And then as you're trying to blend it, you're literally just smearing it around. Yeah. And it, it packs on more heavily to those areas where it is dry and the wet pools. And, yeah. You know, no bueno. Give that like two seconds to dry. And then after I finish my is all over. Is there a difference from using that shape rather than like the little egg? So I have lots of shaped beauty blenders. Yeah, do you prefer? Little egg, flat front. Um, no. I I like the grip on this, so okay. does my cat, yeah. apparently. <laughs> yep, I had to thoroughly wash this because my cat thought it was a toy. Yeah, so would mine. Now, we're doing a really natural look today for Kelly because that's how she rolls, and she's beautiful, oh. so that's all she needs. Um, so I usually go a little bit heavier on the under eye but today i have no idea how to do under eyes though we're gonna learn together we gonna learn today <laughs> yeah this is my anastasia cream contour kit and i'm just going to take a little bit of banana a little banana so we just want the light to hit Kelly and her just have that upper cheekbone glow. So once again, this is something I could go heavier with um, if I really wanted to give that intense sculpted look, but today that's just not something we need in our lives. Natural. Natural. Are you coming to the Arnold? I'm going tomorrow. Okay. Um, I don't work tomorrow until five, yeah, five. So I'm gonna go in the morning. And now on to my Anastasia um, powder contour kit. Okay, so this is just a little heavier. Oh yeah, this is cream, so okay. this is gonna blend more smoothly, yeah, okay. but I'm still gonna set it. Got it. And I even use my beauty I'm blender. As we go. Yeah, I even use my beauty blender to set. Guys, by the way, most of what I know I taught myself. Like I'm not saying that this is 100% the right way to do it. I'm sure there are plenty of people that could watch. Well, it's the same thing with personal training. There's a billion different ways yeah. to get to results. And yeah, people are I'm very... sure plenty of people could watch my video and be like, oh, nope, shouldn't do Mom that. Or, me. Yeah, or that's that's not how I do it. Yeah. You know, makeup is an art. Do it how you want to. I see results this way. Yeah. I'm going to keep it up. You know, and if it looks look good, good, if it looks good and it stays on, like, what else matters? Okay. So we have her initial base done now i do what i always do which is set loosely with an all-over powder i'm going to go with something that has 
some glow to it because Kelly got a spray tan. Yeah. And we want to pull that spray tan out. We want to wash her out. Normally, I go a little bit lighter on foundation because you can always contour and use bronzer and, you know, pull the shade up. You don't want to go too dark. I feel like a lot of girls... I mean, especially throwback to like middle school and high school guys, I would use product that intentionally that was darker than my color because I you wanted, wanted to, be to look tan. tanner. Yeah, but really it's all in the bronzer. Makes sense. And you don't want to press too hard when you're applying your all over powder. You just want to kind of lightly dust depending on the style you're going for but i'm just going for like a gentle setting powder also i don't want to dry kelly out kelly has um normal to dry skin i would say yeah. rather than combination to oily mm -hmm. so we're just gonna dust lightly all over now i'm using my luxie brush this is number 514 it's actually considered a blush brush i enjoy it yeah, for a bronzer it. brush eventually i have to get better at or just like invest in more brushes mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i have a really great collection because um over time i've built it and i love my epsi my epsi always sends me great brushes so for the bronzer I go kind of on the cheek lightly. We're gonna go over top of the the apple of her cheek with blush. And then I get all around the edges. And do you frame the face. Frame the face. Heck yeah. Um her bone structure is like a makeup artist's dream. So I always tell her, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love doing your makeup. Thank I love you. It, I love it, I love it. Your doggy did calm down. You mm -hmm. were right. He's a sweet baby. So this is how we warm up our face. Not with the uh, shade of our foundation, but with our bronzer. And of course, you always want to line the jawline very gently. So that you don't have a big old makeup line. Oh, that's like my biggest pet peeve, I think. And I don't even like, sure. I'm not a makeup person, but when I see a foundation line, I'm like, oh, wow. Honey, honey, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Sweetie, just honey, honey. Let me help. I've gotten home before, and like when I was like getting ready super, super early in the morning, I'm like kind of tired. I've gotten home at the end of the day and realized I had like one little mark where you could see. I'm like, why did no one tell me? Right? <laughs> like, where are my real friends yeah. at? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I but I'm like, like, that's even a little one. Like, I can't. Oh God. When people have those really distinct ones and it like doesn't even match their skin. It's like, oof. oof. Yeah, rough. rough. Uh -huh. All right. So Kelly, look at the camera. So you guys can see already before we even finished her contour, how much shape she's got going on. So now I'm going to go in with a thinner angled brush. And I'm going to take my middle shade i don't know what it's called on here and kelly we yep and then this is just that shadow effect you just want to go really thin and always light with application guys always because you want to be able to blend 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 <laughs> My beauty blender again and I'm just gonna take the banana and this beauty blender is still a little bit wet once again don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it <laughs> but it works but it works this is that snatched effect correct and then whenever people say snatched oh, yeah. face that's snatched. what that means snatched. that means like con yep. the contour mm-hmm me so yeah but you know your stuff so I just take my banana, your dog's licking my foot. I love it. 
I just take the banana right under that contour line. And now he's passed out again. And it just emphasizes that, that line there. And you can even take a little bit more banana up here. And we're going to just very gently line Kelly's nose. You want to come from the brow. Right down the sides. Kelly already has a little button nose, so yeah. we don't want to go heavy on this. Because mm -hmm. there's no need. Less is more. I know each company has like certain things that are better than other companies, but do you have one that you think is best? Highlight? In general. Like just for every any one makeup, like Oh, one or makeup theme, company? Matte, like, yeah, do you like one I of am, products more than another? Nope. I you have am certain favorites for me. Certain favorites for yeah. me. I am it's not okay. like super, super brand particular. Yeah. I give everybody a shot because there are certain products that I think many companies do very well. Yeah. Like, I have my favorite Anastasia items, my favorite Morphe, my favorite Tarte, yeah. my favorite MAC, favorite Urban Decay. I could go on and on and on. So I'm taking right now my Urban Decay highlight and I'm doing under Kelly's brows. And I just am gonna go a little bit heavier right at the very top and I'm all about I'm all about exaggerating good features rather than just giving everybody that same exact yeah. Instagram look where like at the end of the day most of us look identical yeah. because of the way we apply our makeup yeah not identical that's dramatic but you know what I mean Urban Decay Ultimate Basics today guys this actually comes with a brush which I love, but I'm also gonna use my other brush. All right, so I'm gonna go with her all over pre, pre game base here. Now I'm gonna use Faith, the next shade, and I'm going to use a smaller brush it's a little bit flatter and I'm gonna go just over her lid from where the eyebrow ends and angle down. And you wanna go a little bit, a little bit over the crease there for blending purposes for when we add our darker hue that's gonna go actually in the crease and in this outer corner. At least that's what I do. So I'm gonna come back through with my Luxie brush. This is 207. It's an angled shading brush. And Kelly is wearing black today. So let's see. I'm going to take Magnet. <laughs> Kelly, if you'll look at the camera, you can see how this color is kind of pushing in her lid. You want to really, you want to really see that definition because it's going to make your eyeballs pop. I'm going to take pregame again, which is the first color I used. I'm going to pack that right onto the lid. The um, the inner corner of the lid. Eyeshadow is all about building, guys. You should not expect to get the look that you want the first round of application. It shouldn't just be one, two, three. I mean, you can do one, two, three in um, you know, the morning just for a real basic look, but if you're really looking for a complete eyeshadow look, it's all about building. 
So you wanna go back over with those light colors, back over with those dark colors. Looking good. Now I'm gonna take my little Naked Ultimate Basics brush and I'm gonna use this little side here. And I'm gonna take Blackjack and I'm going to, close your eyes, just dust it. I don't wanna line Kelly's eyes too intensely because I don't wanna cut the size of her eyes at all. Like I want them to be really big and open and I mean lining the eyes is, is always great. I love a good wing. I love a good complete liner but for the look I'm going for today we want to be open, bright, and subtle. So I'm just going to dust that. Now look at me. Of course we want to go back over and blend and this is my favorite blending brush. This is actually by Farah. Perfect. Isn't it? Yeah. And you just want to do, 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 do. And then I'm also going to go back over one more time. And I'm going to use Blow, the color. And I'm going to re-highlight a little bit. Really want to pull out that brow bone underneath your brows. favorite brow product is indeed Anastasia Dip Brow. But for Kelly today, I'm gonna use a very light powder. This is actually just CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. She's got very, very full brows. But people always ask me why I saw my metal I'm like, uh, nothing. Right. Even with full brows, I think it's important to pay a little bit of attention to them and yeah. just dust a little color. I mean, obviously for an everyday. Yeah. For you, you barely even wear makeup. Yeah. Just, you just don't need it. And you're just natural like that. But since I'm doing your face today, yeah. I'm just going to dust some powder. This is very simple, guys. There's much more to shaping than what I'm mentioning right now, but it's because she already has that shape. She just got them waxed. She set me up for success once again. Let me show them, Kelly. Nice and full, a little bit of powder, and do some blush and highlight. I think I like to do this at the end because it just sets the face off so much. Also, I tend to use, um, I tend to choose my color of blush and my shade of highlight based on whatever eyeshadow I do, and yeah. I kind of choose my eyeshadow as I go. Yeah. So I'm gonna use California by Benefit, which is really pink. Once again, youthful, bright, awakening. You're just gonna go on the apple of the cheek, lightly, little circles, dust it out. I'm gonna do Morphe. This is Spark, right above where I applied that blush. Dust it real lightly. Love my mermaid um, highlight brush. And just a little the forehead, a little the chin. And of course, my personal favorite, the upper lip. Something I feel like I would never think to do, but probably makes just like the All slightest the difference. difference. Yeah. I'm a blending queen. Mm -hmm. I love I love to go back and blend. I'm a perfectionist. Sometimes it takes me longer to do makeup than I intended. Use this and go very slowly. I remember from last year Kelly likes to do her own mascara. That's why this is happening. So um, go very slowly 
um, on the bottom and just really get that separation on the bottom lashes. Okay. And then when you do the top lashes, make sure you're going really, really, really close, close to the- yeah. And like, like shake up. Yeah, like- Yeah. Oh, I know, I do the same thing. Okay, good. Cool. She's got it. Okay. In the meantime, just kidding guys. If you saw me right now, I'm like, I'm like a person of Walmart, like- <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> You would never know I'm a makeup artist. That's the best is when somebody asks, like, you know, what are you passionate about? What do you do, you know, besides work? And I'm like, I'm a makeup artist. And then I look like this. And they're like, what? But, you know, it's okay, guys. It's okay to be you and be wow, natural. this is, like, amazing. Great. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Okay, so this is the mascara that Kelly's using right now. I just busted her open. This is Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And I'm telling you guys, I know that there is way higher end products out there, but if you're getting the same results, why not save a dollar? And when you're doing as many faces as I'm doing, you need to learn where to save a dollar. I think foundation is important. I think uh, lipstick is important. I think brushes are important, beauty blenders, application technique. But the rest of it, I think what's going on your lashes is important. I think what's going on your skin as a base is important. Number one most important thing for makeup is skincare. It's what you're it's what you're doing before you do the makeup. Okay, so I do fine. Prepping the canvas. Oh, I did good. Oh cool. Cool. Two different lash glues that I use. I use Ardell. And I use the Revlon Precision. You can see that. And all you need is a thin line of glue. I feel like a lot of people go a little too heavy on the glue. We let this dry for like 30 to 40 seconds. You want to get that right in the, the lash line. And then you just let it dry. Kelly, keep looking down. We are using 110 Naturals by Ardell. So yeah, funny story. Kelly and I, um, so we lived together in college and then we hadn't seen each other in a really long time. And the lady that I was uh, working with for makeup artistry, she'll refer me to people or I'll go help her. I started almost as like an assistant with her. She told me that she had a client that she needed me to work on for the Arnold because she was booked out one morning. And she sends me her number and she's like, her name is Kelly. She's so sweet. You'll love her. She's beautiful. It should be fun to do her makeup. Well, I get this number and the contacts already saved my phone and it's freaking Kelly. Yeah, I'm like, Shaylin, this is my roommate from college. She's like, no way. It was really Small great. World. Mm -hmm. So I'm pushing the lashes like in to her eye, almost like I'm curling them with my thumb, just kind of making sure they're really in there. We're looking good. We're gonna let that finish drying and then we're just gonna go over and blend with mascara. In the meantime, I'm gonna do her lips and then we are done. I'm just gonna, the very last thing is I'm gonna go back through a little bit of liquid. You're welcome. Oh, 
I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. I love it. Mm. Beautiful. GQ, you're welcome. You guys, I will link all of her information down below so you can follow her on Instagram. I've always wanted to be uh, And I'm trying to get her to start YouTuber. a YouTube channel. Yeah. So, hassle her Thanks on. Thanks for watching, guys. Hassle her on Instagram.